Hello and uh, welcome to the video on uh, how we're going to convert from a filter-based net document system to a folder-based system. And I know that that's been confusing for people and so we've, there's a couple of things also that it fixes. It allows you to create subfolders in the in the filters like things like correspondence, email, any any of these you didn't be able would be able to create subfolder directly under there and uh, it eliminates the duplication of having uh, data in both places and it also allows documents to check in faster and I, I think you'll be pretty pretty pleased with it. So what we're going to do is we're going to run a refresh workspace here and I, I wouldn't advise anybody does this yet because it, it just it takes like 45 or 60 seconds or something so once we sort of test this a little bit more thoroughly we're going to push this out as a kind of a mass refresh and everything is just going to just magically convert over to this this new system so what's happening now is it's going through and it's going to convert every one of those blue fil filters to a yellow folder. In addition to that, it's also going to add some um, some folders that I have predefined for each matter. Uh, those are right here at the top. Uh, from Through external links, through records, is going to show up in every matter. And administrative through memos is going to show up in any, every matter. As you can see, this was just a matter I picked randomly in it. And most of these had some data in there, but this will just prevent you from having to create uh, if you had to save something, it'll just be right there and make it a little easier for you to save things to it. So that's that's what we're going to do. So essentially, you know, then have a, it operates much the same way. Um, something that you might want to do is reorganize your data a little bit. Uh, if you have something called folders here, kind of expand. If you expand that, you see that there. You can't drag and drop effectively from there. What you can do is uh, you can expand this matter right here. And you can go uh, expand this medical. And I can go ahead and just, we're just going to move that nurse's summary directly to medical. So now, as you can see, under folders and under medical, there's there's not going to be any, uh, any data in there. So there's no need to maintain this folder now. So I can just go back to the root of my matter. I can click on folders. If I wanted to, I can go ahead. And this is just if you want your matters to look a little bit, you know, a little bit cleaner. It's always safest to choose unfile because then nothing gets deleted. Even though I know there's nothing in there because I, I moved it already. So we can go ahead and choose unfile. Okay. Just give me an example here. As you can see, there's the nurse's summary. So. so that's that's one of the nice things about folders. You can you know you can go ahead and create your subfolders, and, and no big deal. If if when you're working on a new document now, um, you're going to want to take the document and let's just pick an example like insurance. And I'm just going to go ahead and uh, do a test save here. I'm going to do it. And I'm going to use the document type of insurance because it doesn't exist yet there. So I shouldn't create the folder called insurance. I should go ahead and select this this matter here. Now, if I select the matter right here, all I have to do is just click in here and type insurance. And we're just going to type test and go ahead and hit save. And you're going to notice if I refresh this page. Now I haven't closed the document yet. I know that's a a lot of people were com complain that uh, it doesn't documents don't show up in the filters if you don't close them. Well, guess what? Now with folders, even though I still have this open, it is going to show up, even though it's checked out and hasn't been saved the first time. Which that will be that will be nice for for you guys. So I go ahead and close it. Checks in. There we go. If you if you do choose to add folders, which we don't recommend, I don't recommend that you add folders to this matter that are not our default folders. I would I would advise against that. But should you do that, that would this would be the function. You should then always take that folder and go to folder options all information there and determine what type of data that is. Even if it's something as, as arbitrary as just miscellaneous, 
That way, anytime you drag and drop, and you add, if I was to add something to this folder, like so, it's going to automatically inherit that document profile. And I won't have to profile that document. I can just drag and drop that. It will automatically know that it's, you know, a member of Miscellaneous, and it's there. So that's that's kind of the basics of it. So I think that we're going to start rolling this out. Once we, you know, kind of test this a little bit more, I'll probably pick a few people and have them refresh their workspaces, make sure that they're comfortable using this, and then we'll uh, offer some training classes just in case anybody has any questions about reorganizing their data or exactly what it's going to do to their data. Um, and then we will perform a mass refresh and we'll refresh all the workspaces.